Good morning, everyone. After traveling this country for three months, today is the day that we are sadly leaving the Philippines. It's bittersweet, though, because we are headed to a brand new country, one that we are super excited to explore. It's going to be a whole new adventure, and we can't wait to share it with you. Guys, we have made it to Cebu Airport. It's pretty. I don't know if we've mentioned it or not. Maybe you already got the hint from the thumbnail, but today we are actually going to Singapore. Yay! We are super pumped. We only have one flight, yeah. which is going to be amazing. It's actually so um, nice. It's like a direct, yeah. not even four hours. The unfortunate part is we're, our flight's like at 4 p.m., so we're going to get in like pretty late in the evening. Yeah, it'll be dark. And, and uh, Oh, well. I mean, but there's things we want to do at the airport because we've heard so many cool <laughs> things about this airport. Yeah, Singapore Airport is supposed to be like top notch, like one of the best in the world. So we'll probably end up spending a little bit of time there. Wow, this is so weird. They gave me one boarding pass. I don't remember the last time we went from one country to another on one ticket. We always choose the cheapest ticket, so we usually have like eight like layovers. <laughs> I'm usually like so many tickets, but there's just one. This is so nice. Well, we were off to an awesome start, but we just realized that we accidentally put our like paperwork for our visa here in the Philippines in the backpack that's gone to check in. Um, and we're gonna need that to get through immigration and not pay a ridiculous amount of money <laughs> for uh, the visa that we've already paid for here in the Philippines. So, you know, we're just waiting for them to go and fetch our check bag. I feel bad. We've never done this before. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, what we get for assuming everything is like super easy, everything's going well. We're having a great no morning. No problems. Yeah, like this has been an easy day so far. Oops. Guys, this is the dumbest mistake I've made in a long time. <laughs> At least dumbest today. <laughs> is getting in the way of our coffee time. We're in the back. Oh, it's at the very bottom <laughs> too. Bye for real. So it's just hitting us that we have been here for three months. Three and months? We're leaving. I'm so yeah. sad. There's a lot we have seen in the mm. last three months, but there's also a ton that we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. Do you feel more Filipino now that you've been here for so long? <laughs> you like spent so long in the Philippines, do you feel more Filipino? I do in yeah. the sense that like there are some things about me, like my love for like certain foods and like my like corny humor <laughs> and like my love for karaoke. I thought those things were just like personally me, and then mm -hmm. I realized there's actually more of like a whole nation of people that like Share all that. love the same thing. I think you're totally right. So I actually feel really lucky because I think in a lot of other countries we go to, we love to look for like those really authentic travel experiences with like with local families as an example. Yeah, and true. here in Philippines, we get to do that so easily. We get yeah, to stay with all these people. Yeah, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Like mm. you get we experience the touristy hot spots, we experienced yeah. the Philippines as a tourist mm -hmm. and did all that all those cool things. Yeah. But then we also got to see a side of the Philippines that I don't think many tourists get to see. Yeah. Um, it's like reserved for those who have like been in the Philippines for a long time or who have family in the Philippines yeah. or for myself who like truly have family and was born here. Mm. Especially Nicole, like yeah. I think it's like you experience something that not a lot of like yeah. North Americans would see. I feel like I got like adopted into this extra culture that I just get to have <laughs> and like share and learn about. It's been really special. We're gonna miss it here. Plus, she ate balut like not too long ago, so she's an inaugural Filipina for sure. <laughs> My dreams are coming true. <laughs> Also, we really want to say that if you guys have joined our journey since we've come to the Philippines, if you're Filipino and you've been following along, thank you so much for joining us and for subscribing and just like coming and hanging out and exploring Philippines with us. We hope you stick around yeah, for Singapore and what's beyond. I guarantee you the corny jokes <laughs> and the overeating will just follow us mm. until forever. Until forever. Into Singapore, at least for now. Goodbye, Philippines. Okay. You've been great. I will miss you, Lechon. <laughs> I will miss you, Jollibee. I will not miss you, Balot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Give it a give it a little more time. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> be great. You'll be dreaming of it. <laughs> we will be departing shortly. Please sit back, relax, and have a pleasant flight. Yeah.
Welcome to Singapore. Welcome to a new country, everybody. Singapore. Wow. Not only are we in Singapore, we're also in like one of the best, maybe the best uh, airport in the entire world. So they say. So far, it's a very normal airport. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been far enough. We haven't been far enough. But... No. Ooh, wow. It's warm. It's warm. That's, that's a good start. All right. Very first impressions of Singapore is that like there are people from everywhere here. It's so cool to go around and just like see such a diversity of people. I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like a big deal for some reason. That's true. Although you normally find a lot of diversity at airports, yeah, there is a lot more here in Singapore. Slug. Just people of all colors, of all yeah. religions. Like it's really cool. I'm speaking Europe. so many languages. Guys, this is more of a mall than it is an airport. Gotcha. I've never seen so many luxury brands in one spot. Like this is fancy, man. Also, got my makeup. There are just like a few luxuries in life that um, I miss a lot. So I got myself my favorite mascara. Airports are like the best place to get it because it's really hard to find around the world. And I feel fancy, like I belong here, you know? Bought something from the shopping mall. <laughs> We spent so much time walking around the airport. The only two bags that are left are the carousel wraps. <laughs> Do it. There's the first one. There's the second one over there. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. We did some reading online to get a SIM card here in Singapore, and when you come to the airport, it ca they kind of all make it look like you can't really get a SIM for less than 36 Singaporean dollars. Um, but we read online that if you buy, like from, this is a, for an example, a website called Kluk, you can buy a $12 SIM card from Kluk with 100 gigs of data. Like, who needs more data than that? Um, but you gotta, like, buy it here and then pick it up at, like, the the different, like, what do you, what do you call them? Store? <laughs> yeah, it's like these different, like, companies that sell the SIM cards for the different companies. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the currency exchange, UOB, they're one of these, like, resellers for the SIM card. So we're gonna go try to pick it up. Guys, success! Like, I'm actually so proud of myself. I did this research literally while we were waiting for our flight from Cebu to here, and I was like, oh, I should look up Sims, and then I was like, oh man, there's kind of like a lot to know. Did a little research and like, discovered a way to save a lot of money. Without Nicole's insider knowledge, we would have paid 25 bucks, <laughs> maybe least. 35 bucks yeah. each if you wanted one, so yes. this is a good win. It's so pretty. We also exchanged money, which we don't usually do, but we happen to have some US dollars on us. This is beautiful currency. Yeah. Okay, so I was kind of disappointed we were coming here in the nighttime. But it's actually really cool. Holy oh, smoke. So this the jewel like is like it's like this large indoor waterfall in Singapore Airport, in case you weren't aware. And it's like one of like the biggest like draws to coming to Singapore Airport just because how beautiful it is. Okay, wait, but what they older they undersold us on for sure is actually what's around the waterfall. Yeah. Like this looks like a little city from a movie. This wow. is so beautiful. A lot of times I've been super bored at airports, like there's not much to do, you're like just watch a movie or something while you wait for your flight. But this is you gotta do you gotta do this if you're in Singapore. Oh, that's cool. Do you think that's like the inter, the terminal yeah, train? The train. <gasps> Between terminals. This place fancy. <laughs> Welcome to Singapore. Welcome to Singapore. You're hoping to take a fun thumbnail, but then the lights turned off. At 10 o'clock. We've really like, been like going around, it's really nice and colorful. And then all of a sudden we're like, where did the color go? Yeah. It turns off the 10, it's now 10 over. Literally, yeah, uh, just a few minutes back. So no more cool colors, but I think we got a little bit while it was really yeah. pretty, so. <laughs> okay guys, quick update. They actually turned off the waterfall. Like, I'm feeling so lucky. It's 10, 16, and the waterfall is officially completely oh, off. That's can so you sad. imagine if like our, our SIM card like thingy took even like 10 minutes more? Even we 10 minutes more. <laughs> we wouldn't have seen it, and, and it's all not, splendor. Small spoiler alert, we're not gonna be back at this airport, I don't think, so. Yeah, so this is like our only chance. This. Yeah. Super sad. Wow. wow, that was lucky. That was lucky. This is a good day. It's a good day, it's working out. The cutest thing just happened. We were just like standing there getting our backpacks on. We had to go down the escalator, and these other travelers came up and we're like, hey, do you guys have the MRT pass? We're like, no, they're like, here, there's still a couple bucks on it. We're leaving, you can have them. Cool! Saving money in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, thank you, kind strangers. That was very nice. I feel like we're using up all our good luck in Singapore today. <laughs> I really hope that like the future days in Singapore go as well as today. <laughs> Ooh, 
Honestly, I feel so spoiled. So to buy this card would have been $5, and then there was already almost $2 left on it. So like someone just like handed us $7 each. Guys, this day, I'm telling you, it's the best. Super safe. Like usually when we're carrying all of our stuff and I'm walking around at night, I feel really like nervous and I would rather just get in a cab even if it's a short distance. Because you're really at risk. Like we have all of our, our whole life in here, right? But I feel so safe. Like and, and it's midnight. Yeah, it's midnight, yes. Yeah, very late. And all the streets are illuminated. There's street lamps <laughs> everywhere. And there's sidewalks. And there's sidewalks. Wow. Like I'm not just talking about like how different this is from the Philippines. No, no. Nicole and I are talking about how different this is from like Many places we've been before the Philippines. I'm talking about, you know, places in Sri Lanka, places in India, places in South America. Pretty fancy. I it's like it. Sidewalks and, and like street lamps are a rarity in the world. It, it, they are, yeah. It feels fancy. Especially the further you get away from a capital city. We found ourselves at 7-Eleven because Nicole and I are starving. We're so hungry. And uh, we, everywhere is so expensive. Yeah, we passed up a couple of McDonald's and whatnot. I think I saw I Burger was King. Really open. The Burger King's like was looking at like. Eight or nine or ten Singaporean dollars for our meals. So I think we're just gonna be eating at 7 Eleven tonight. There is nothing quite like your first meal in Singapore being <laughs> mac and cheese from 7 Eleven. <laughs> we're really living large here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this country immediately is too expensive for us. So, first impressions of Singapore, guys, it's pricey, mm -hmm. it's really clean, the people are very friendly, mm -hmm. and we have some strangely good luck here. I mean, so far, it's wonderful. And everything's been so efficient. And, like, it's so easy to get around. Even though it's midnight, I feel so safe. It's, I'm really excited to see more of this country. Our hostel is actually just around the corner, so we're actually going to leave you here. We're going to chow this down, <laughs> then get to bed, because tomorrow we have a huge day of exploring Singapore. We're packing as much as we can, so... Yeah, we got lots of cool videos coming up, so make sure you hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a like if you don't mind, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Guys, this is the closest thing we'll have to Jolly Bee here, I think. I feel like they're just tricking. I feel like they're just tricking all the Filipinos into thinking there's a Jolly Bee. It's here, a Jolly it's Bee. A oh, bean. it's a Jolly Bean. bean. This is rude. <laughs> Ain't no fried chicken in there. <laughs> <laughs>